I know the rumors. I have seen the videos with my own eyes. You might even say I've seen it with my own face. I know the technology is not as good as Apple's Face ID, but it's still pretty slick and I encourage you to check it out. I printed out some large photos of myself and I tried to unlock my device with photos of my face. I wasn't able to do it. I know you saw the videos, but a photo, just a picture printed out on my printer, didn't unlock it. Then I tried a simple picture on the computer. I took the phone and I put it in front of my computer and boom, all of a sudden my phone unlocked. I had to wiggle it around a little bit and get it just in the right spot, but it's true. You can unlock your phone, my phone, with a picture of my face. What does this mean? Well, first of all, it's not that secure. We can both agree on that. But with the added security in all of the apps, does it need to be? Anything of value to me should not be and does not need to be easily accessible on my smartphone, my mobile device. If you're a consumer, a person that keeps everything on your phone, then you have much bigger problems than someone using a photo to unlock your device. It's called data security, protecting your identity. So no matter what, after this video is over and you comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, ding, go through your apps and make sure they have security settings maxed out. I get it, I really do. We have to keep our data easily accessible. Our smartphone is an extension of our lives, but you need to make sure you are protecting yourself and your digital life. I said all that to say this, I like face unlock. You might even go as far as to say, I love it. My hopes is that Samsung either pushes out an update with some new security features or on the Note 10, they really ramp up the face unlock security. Moral of the story, if you enjoy the convenience of face unlock on the S10 models, then you have to take the time to lock up your other apps. If you have apps that do not offer added protection, then you might consider deleting them. If you don't want to delete them, there may be another option. And this is where the real security comes into play. Which brings me to the other feature that I love so much, the secured folder. Not everyone knows about the secured folder or how to use it. You can have an app installed on your device, let's say Facebook. Well, in the secured folder, you can have the exact same app with the same account or another super secret account like I do and have the exact same apps installed in the secured folder with a completely different login. You get notifications the same, so you don't miss anything. The notifications are just secured. Nobody can see them but you once you unlock your secured folder. The notifications are just as secured as well. This is a great feature if you're traveling or have sensitive work documents that need to be with you. Check it out, try it out. This is where Samsung wants you to keep your sensitive apps, datas, and files. So before you jump on the bandwagon and proclaim Samsung Galaxy S10s are not secure because of face unlock, you have to look at the big picture. Take advantage of all the features and technologies that Samsung is offering us. When it comes down to it, there are multiple ways to secure your phone and your data. You have to pick the lock method that best suits you and your life. This is the best thing about technology these days. We have so many options that we get to pick and choose. So make sure that you make the right choice for yourself.